In this video, so not surprisingly, we're going to take a look at some stuff for males and females that you need to know for your exam, as well as uh, a few items on the menstrual cycle. So as we've been doing for all of our science videos, um, we have questions here at the beginning that will help us kind of focus in on during the video, and then we'll look at these questions again at the end, and hopefully you'll be able to answer them uh, without help. So uh, the focus here um which phase does the ovarian follicle mature um what is the site of follicle maturation where does sperm mature and what is the function of the endometrium so those will be our big four okay so we'll start off with males uh, sperm are produced in the seminiferous tubules in the testes and mature in the epididymis the scrotum keeps the temperature of the testes 2 to 4 degrees Fahrenheit below normal body temperature for sperm production. Uh, spermatogenesis occurs in the testes under the control of testosterone, which both induces and maintains sperm production. And then as we look at the epididymis, uh, that is the site of sperm maturation and storage. So as we go back and look... Or we see that star, that usually means it's connected to a question. Yeah, so if you see the third bullet point, where does sperm mature? Definitely one we want to be familiar with. Epididymis. All right. Uh, mature sperm travel to the ejaculatory duct via the vas deferens. The seminal vesicles secrete a liquid to nourish the sperm, and the prostate gland secretes a fluid that enables the sperm to better survive the acidic female reproductive tract. The bulbourethral glands produce a fluid that lubricates the male reproductive tract. And whoops, sorry, one more. The ejaculatory ducts from the two testes fuse at the urethra. Semen travels down the urethra and is ejected from the body through the penis. Okay, so that's the male stuff that we want to know. Uh, right, The probably the they're all important ones to know. You need to be familiar with all of these. Uh, the epididymis is probably the most commonly of these six uh, that are asked uh, on the exam. <clears throat> uh, for females, ova is female gametes. Eugenesis is the process through which ova are produced in the ovaries. Eugenesis is not completed until after the ovum is fertilized. Females are born with all the immature ova they will ever have. During ovulation, one mature ovum completes the first division and is arrested in the second division. The unfertilized ovum is released from the ovaries and travels through the fallopian tubes where it is fertilized. Following fertilization, the ovum travels down the fallopian tubes and implants in the uterus. Right, as we look at <clears throat> the endometrium, another commonly uh, referenced term, the endometrium is tissue with many blood vessels that nourish the developing embryo. The endometrium forms the placenta, which is the site of nutrient and waste exchange for the developing fetus. So we look back at the question. Um, there you go, but the last bullet point there. What is the function of the endometrium? Right? And so you'd say, like, if you want the number one function there is it nourishes the developing embryo. That's really the, the key point that you want to have. Uh, the vagina is the reproductive tract of females and the channel through which the mature fetus is expelled during labor. And the cervix, the cervix connects the uterus to the vagina. Okay, and then we want to look at the menstrual cycle here as well. Ovulation separates the follicular and luteal phases. Okay, and those are two phases we definitely want to be familiar with. In the follicular phase, the ovarian follicle matures. During this phase, the interior pituitary, pituitary releases FSH, which acts on the ovaries to induce the release of estrogen. Okay, so we look back here again, help us focus in another question. In which phase does the ovarian follicle mature? That very first one. Probably kind of easy to guess here, but it's the follicular phase. 
Okay, uh, estrogen leads to the maturation of one ovarian follicle and the thickening of the endometrium. Uh, luteinizing hormone, or LH, drives ovulation and results in the ovarian follicle rupturing and releasing the egg into the fallopian tube. The ruptured follicle develops into the corpus luteum and secretes the progesterone to maintain the uterine lining. Progesterone maintains the endometrium during the luteal phase of the menstrual cycle. Progesterone maintains the uterine lining, and once the lining breaks down, menstruation is triggered. After the corpus luteum atrophies, progesterone levels drop. Okay. So, and then that gets us back to our original questions, right? So having watched this video, these four questions should be no problem. That should help you be in really good shape for the stuff you need to know for reproductive system.